them, but they just don't know what's in my heart and why I love you so. I love you, baby, like a mine of love gold. Come on, sugar, let the good time. We're down in San Diego at the office of Competitive Group, where they're hosting a networking event tonight. Competitive is very strong on what they call community. And we have with us the uh, general manager of Competitive, Eric Clausen. Welcome, Eric. Thank you. Or Glad thank you for having us. Glad to be here. So tell us about who's out there. Sure. So um, what we've tried to do is bring together the members of the San Diego Life Science Network uh, group. Um, we launched this group about six weeks ago. Uh, we're now at about 560 members strong. Um, really to facilitate relationships, interaction between people within the um, biotech, pharmaceutical, medical technology, and uh, research communities here in San Diego in a way that they can interact with one another. Uh, we've hosted the first event here this evening um, at our offices uh, here at Competitive Group, um, hoping to facilitate some dialogue and relationships. Competitive has a real kind of fun, exciting, mood vibe with the company. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your secret? Um, I think it's all about culture. You know, we try to keep a really open, collaborative environment. Um, it's very inviting to people. You know, that's why we've had this event. Um, but also, you know, really a culture of open innovation, um, a lot open dialogue between people. It's sort of a fun culture um, that allows people to just bounce ideas off of one another and figure out how we can take um, marketing science and apply it to life science. Who are some of your clients? Uh, we work with Illumina, uh, which is a, a big uh, sequencing player here, obviously, in San Diego. Um, we work with BioRad, uh, which is a stalwart in the Bay Area. We work with uh, Debbie L. Gorn Associates, uh, maker of medical products and also known for Gore-Tex. Mm -hmm. um, those are some of the bigger clients, but we also work with, uh, with startup life science companies working in diagnostics and some of the personalized medicine and some of the earlier, more emerging markets. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. We ran into Sean Baker, who was one of our original contributors and then was Pod. Thanks for joining us. Oh, sure. Lo lovely to be here. So you've worked with Competitive for a while. That's right, I have. Um, Competitive uh, has worked with Illumina for a number of years, and they actually started that relationship working on one of my products. And so we had a great time with them making a really fun, interesting, impactful campaign. And honestly, it was one of the best experiences I had working at Illumina. Is getting to work with competitive. Uh -huh. They're a really fun group. They're, they're a really fun group, um, they're really dynamic, they kind of think outside the box. Uh -huh. Especially for me, I was new in marketing at the time, I, I didn't know kind of what you could do, what was possible, and they just came up with all these different ideas, and I got to pick which one I thought was going to work best, and it was really fun working back and forth with them. They've got a lot of life science domain knowledge, so it wasn't like talking to a typical PR type person, they really knew what they were talking about, and so it was a, a good, healthy back and forth conversation. It was, it was a lot of fun, really productive. So, Competitive has this section on their website called Community, mm -hmm. and they try to get the life science uh, group together. Yeah. In, in San Diego, I've heard it's kind of a tight-knit group. What can you say about the life science community here? It is a, it is a pretty tight-knit group. I mean, it's a, it's a fairly... Uh, dynamic community, there's a lot of different kind of companies, but they're geographically so close together that it's really easy for people to get together. You know, they play in soccer leagues together, softball leagues, uh, events like this, it's really easy to come together. In contrast, um, you know, kind of up in the Bay Area, a ton of companies, but they're really spread out. It could be a two hour drive from one to the other, whereas here everyone's probably within five, ten minutes tops, so it's really nice. So we've run into some people tonight that just were part of Illumina's first contraction. Mm -hmm. um, and you used to work at Illumina. You That's right. retired from there back in December of last mm -hmm. year. Um, what's, what do you feel from them? What's the mood? Oh, gosh, it's obviously not a very good time. Uh, yeah. uh, it's really rough to be let go. And obviously to have a whole bunch of people let go at the same time. People are looking for jobs. But because it is such a nice, tight community, you know, people do have connections. Um, this event's a great one for these people because they're coming together and learning about opportunities. So it's, it's never good for anyone, but uh, hopefully it'll end up being a good opportunity for them to move on and do something different. Thank you. Sure. You know, we have a really open environment. Um, a lot of our best creative thought usually happens on a Friday afternoon, um, throwing darts, having a beer. 
And uh, you know, one uh, Friday afternoon, actually, a good example of that is um, uh, the, our digital practice uh, uh, director, Michael Yarrett, and I were sitting around. We're throwing darts, and I recognized you know there's a real need for a San Diego life science network group, a group broad enough for really everybody to get into and to be able to interact. And um, you know we sat down. We work wirelessly here, um, so we working on our Mac. We create a group, and uh, this is 4:30 on a Friday afternoon, and um, start a group to to be able to invite people in. We recognize in a span of about 45 minutes. You know, we have 30 or 40, 50 people into the group, and we recognize, well, maybe there's something something to this. We need to create this group and facilitate some dialogue. So that was how long ago? Uh, that was six weeks ago. Um, and you have? 561 members um, on LinkedIn, you know, creating a group and fostering some, some dialogue, um, promoting some content, but genuinely just trying to find people that want to interact online and life sciences. So you're happy with the turnout tonight? Very happy, yeah. Um, i pleasantly surprised um, by the turnout. Um, I have to say that it exceeded expectations. I, I'm genuinely a uh, huge Jimmy Hendrix fan. I was born too late. Mm -hmm.